Welcome to addition of number bases. In this lesson, I will be showing you how to add number bases together. What are the things we need to note when adding number bases together? The very first thing we need to know is when you add numbers and the number is less than the required base, then the result can be written directly. Let's look at an example on that. You have 2 plus 2. If you look at 2 plus 2 gives 4 and 4 is less than the required base. Our required base here is 5. 4 is less than the required base. That means we can write the value 4 directly. You understand that? Okay. Another thing to also note, when you add numbers and the result is greater than the required base, then what you need to do is to divide the result by the required base in order for you to obtain the remainder and the whole number. Let's look at an example on that. You have this value here, 4 plus 3. If you look at it, 4 plus 3 gives 7. And 7 is higher than the required base. Our required base here is 5. 7 is greater than the required base. 7 is greater than 5. So what you need to do there is to divide 7 divided by 5 so that we can obtain the remainder and the whole number. So how many 5 can go in 7? 5 can go in 7 one time. Then 5 times 1, that gives us 5. So 7 minus 5. For us to obtain our remainder, 7 minus 5 gives 2. So our remainder is 2. So what we need to do, we are supposed to write for this 4 plus 3 now. What we are supposed to write, instead of writing 7, we are not going to write 7. We will write the remainder as 2. And then this whole number 1, we will take it to the next addition stage. But if we don't have any next addition stage, we just write the next value as 1. Another thing to note when adding numbers together in number base, when you add numbers and the result is equal to the required base, then divide the result by the required base to obtain the remainder and the whole number. Let's see an example on that. You're given this value 5 plus 3 in all in base 8. So 5 plus 3 gives the value 8 which is equals to the required base. The required base is 8 and the result we got is 8 also. That means it tallies. So in this occasion what you need to do is to say 8 divided by 8. That means what you're using, what you're saying, your result is at the right hand side and then your base is at the left hand side. So how many 8 will go in 8? Eight will go in eight one time. If you remember, eight multiplied by one gives eight. So eight will go in eight one time. And then since eight goes in eight one time, there is no remainder because eight times one is eight. So no remainder will say the remainder zero. Okay, so what we need to write down here is this remainder which is zero. Instead of writing for our five plus three, instead of writing eight, we're going to write down 0. Okay, then the whole number, which is the 1 now, we carry it to the next stage of addition. But if there is no next stage of addition, we just write the 1. Now let's look at example 1. In this example, we are asked to add 3012 and 112 together in base 5. For us to add them together, let's try to write out the numbers. We start with the 302 then plus the 112 all laid out in base 5. So let's start the addition now. 2 plus 2 give us 4. Is 4 less than 5 or greater than 5 or equals to 5? So 2 plus 2, 4 is less than 5. That means we can write the 4 directly because it's less than the required base. Then 1 plus 1, that gives 2. 2 is less than the required base. Our required base is 5. 2 is less than 5, so we can write the 2 directly. 0 plus 1, that gives 1. So 1 is less than the required base, so we can write the 1 directly. 
and then the next one is this 3 that is here so we can say 3 since there is no other value here we can assume the value we have here is 0 so 3 plus 0 that will still give 3 is 3 less than this 5 or greater than the 5 so 3 is less than 5 so we can write the 3 directly so our addition the result we got in base 5 is 3 1 2 4 now let's look at example 2 in this example we are asked to add 2 3 1 4 11 and 1 1 2 together in base 5 so what you need to do is to try and read the numbers from the biggest to the smallest so we start with 2 3 1 4 and then plus 1 1 2 and then plus this 1 1 4 so we have something like this all in base 5 okay having done this the next thing is for you to add them together so 4 plus 2 that gives 6 6 plus 1 and that is 7 so the question will now be the result you obtain is it higher than the required base or less than the required base so 7 is higher than this 5 which is our base that means what we need to do is to say 7 divided by 5 so how many 5 we go in 7 so the 5 that will go in 7 is 1 so 5 times 1 that's 5 so what will be the remainder the remainder will be 7 minus 5 and that will give us 2 so we have remainder 2 so instead of us to write the 7 right here all we need to do is to write down this remainder so we write down 2 here and then we carry out we carry this whole number 1 we carry it to the next stage of addition okay so let's do the next stage of addition now 1 plus 1 that gives 2 2 plus 1 that gives 3 3 plus 1 that gives 4 is 4 the result that we obtain is it greater than 5 our required base or less than 5 our required base 4 that we obtain is less than 5 so we can write the 4 directly okay the next one now is 3 plus 1 and that is going to give us 4 since there is nothing here so 3 plus 4 that's 4 is 4 less than 5 4 is less than 5 so we can write the 4 directly and then the next one now is this 2 next stage of addition we don't have anything here likewise we don't have anything here so we can just say 2 directly so 2 is less than 5 so we can write 2 directly so our final answer for the addition is 2 4 4 2 let's look at example 3 in this example 3 we are asked to add 264 475 and 86 together in base 9 so what we need to do is to arrange the numbers so arrange the numbers from the highest to the smallest so that means you are arranging 475 first before 264 and before 86 all set in base 9 so the next thing to do is to start the addition 5 plus 4 will give us 9 and 9 plus 6 will give us 15 so is 15 greater than the base or less than the base 15 is greater than the base so all we need to do is to say 15 divided by the base and our base is 9 15 divided by 9 so how many times will 9 go in 15 so 9 will go in 15 one time and then what will be the remainder to get the remainder 9 times 1 is 9 so we just say 15 minus 9 and that will give us 6 so our remainder is 6 so what we need to do now is to write our remainder here so our value for remainder we're going to write it here 6 here and then we carry out we carry this whole number to the next stage of addition so we carry it to this next stage then we have for the next stage now 1 plus 7 that's 8 8 plus 6 that's 14 
and 14 plus 8 that will give 22 is 22 greater than 9 which is our base you know 22 is our result there is 22 greater than 9 or not so 22 is greater than 9 that means what we need to do we need to say 22 divided by 9 so that we can know how many times 9 will go in 22 so how many times will 9 go in 22 9 will go in 22 two times so what will be the remainder 9 times 2 that will give us 18 so we just say 22 minus 18 to get our remainder and our remainder is 4 okay since our remainder is 4 so what we're going to write down here will be this remainder which is 4 so we write down 4 there and then we carry this 2 which is the whole number we carry it to the next stage of addition so at the next stage of addition now we say 2 plus 4 and that gives 6 6 plus 2 and that gives 8 so our question will now be since there is nothing here so we just have 8 there our question will now be the result we obtain there is it less than the base or greater than the base 8 is less than the base 8 is less than 9 that means we can write 8 directly so our final answer here for our addition is 8, 4, 6. Let's also look at another example, example 4. In this example, we have to add 3, 1, 1, 24 and 4, 77 together in base 8. So first and foremost, you need to arrange the numbers from the highest to the smallest. So we're starting with 477 and 311 and then the last one 24. So having arranged the numbers all in set in base 8, the next thing is for us to start the addition. So 7 plus 1, that will give 8. 8 plus 4, and that will give 12. So the result we obtained there, 12. Is it less than our base? You know our base is 8. Is 12 less than 8? Or is 12 greater than 8? So which one is it? 12 is greater than 8. So what we need to do there is to say 12 divided by 8. So how many times can 8 go in 12? 8 can go in 12 one time. So we say 8 times 1. That gives us 8. So we can say 12 minus 8 for us to get our remainder so our remainder will be 4 okay so what we're going to write down here will be the remainder and the remainder is 4 we write down the remainder okay then this whole number 1 we take it to the next stage of addition so we now have at the next stage now we have 1 plus 7 that gives 8 8 plus 1 that gives 9. 9 plus 2, that gives 11. The result we obtain, which is 11, is 11 less than 8 or greater than 8. 11 is greater than 8, so all we need to do is to say 11 divided by 8. So that means how many times will 8 go in 11? 8 will go in 11 one time. So what will be the remainder? 8 times 1, that's 8. So 11 minus 8 for you to get the remainder, that will be 3. So our remainder is 3. So we're going to write down the remainder at this next stage of addition. Our remainder is 3. Okay, then we carry this whole number to the next stage of addition. At the next stage of addition, we have 1 plus 4. That gives 5. 5 plus 3 that gives 8 so let's see we obtain the result 8 and that 8 is the same thing as the required base so what we need to do here is to say 8 divided by 8 so how many times will 8 go in 8 so 8 will go in 8 one time so what will be the remainder since 8 times 1 give us 8 that means we'll have the remainder of 0. Okay. 
Having gotten the remainder of 0, so what we are going to write down will be this remainder and that is 0. And then we will take up this whole number to the next stage of addition. But if there is no next stage of addition, so all we need to do is to write down the number as the last result. Since there is no any other addition to take place. So our final answer here for the addition is 1034.